Hey everyone, it's Space Explorer, and today we're diving into a topic that's close to my heart trains. But not just any trains, we're talking about the sprawling, intricate, and absolutely crucial railway systems of China and India. These two nations, both with populations exceeding a billion people, rely heavily on their railways for everything from economic growth to the daily commute. Think about it, the railways were the original internet, connecting far-flung regions and fueling industrial revolutions. China and India, with their own rich histories, embrace the railways, and those steel arteries continue to pulse with lifeblood of these nations today. We'll be exploring the fascinating history of railways in both countries, from their humble beginnings to their modern-day marvels. Get ready to chug along with me as we compare their impressive infrastructure, technological advancements, and the profound economic impact these railways have. This isn't just about trains, it's about understanding the forces that have shaped two of the world's most populous nations. Our journey begins in China, a land steeped in ancient history, where the concept of railways arrived relatively late. It wasn't until the late 19th century that the first railway line, a mere 10 kilometers long, was built. This tentative step into the world of steam engines was driven by a combination of factors, from the need to transport resources to the desire for modernization. The early years of Chinese railways were marked by political instability and foreign influence. Different powers, eager to tap into China's vast resources, funded and built railway lines, often with their own interests at heart. This period saw the construction of some iconic routes like the peking hankow Railway, a testament to the engineering prowess of the time. However, it was after the establishment of the People's Republic of China in 1949 that the railways truly became a symbol of national unity and progress. The new government prioritized railway expansion, seeing it as crucial for connecting the vast nation and fostering economic development. The Chinese railway network grew at an astonishing pace, crisscrossing mountains, deserts, and plains. From those early hesitant steps to the high-speed rail network that's the envy of the world, it's a journey worth exploring. Let's shift our focus to India, a land of vibrant cultures and a colonial past, intricately intertwined with its railways. The first train journey in India took place in 1853, under British rule. The railway network expanded rapidly, transporting raw materials and goods. Iconic lines like the Darjeeling Himalayan Railway were constructed. Railways broke down social barriers integrating diverse groups. Post-independence, India modernized and expanded its railways. Today, Indian Railways is a major employer integral to life. All right, let's get down to brass tacks, or should I say steel tracks. When it comes to sheer size, China's railway network dwarfs India's. We're talking about a whopping 150,000 kilometers of track in China, compared to around 68,000 kilometers in India. India, despite having a smaller network, boasts one of the highest railway densities in the world, particularly in the Gangetic Plains. One area where China has undoubtedly taken the lead is high-speed rail. They've invested heavily in this technology, creating a network that spans over 40,000 kilometers and can whisk passengers across the country at speeds exceeding 350 kilometers per hour. India, while lagging behind in high-speed rail, has been focusing on upgrading its existing infrastructure. They're electrifying tracks, improving signaling systems, and introducing modern coaches to enhance safety and efficiency. Both countries face their own set of challenges. China grapples with maintaining aging infrastructure and ensuring safety across such a vast expanse. India faces the daunting task of upgrading its colonial-era infrastructure while meeting the demands of a rapidly growing population. All right, folks, buckle up because we're about to enter the world of high-speed rail, and China is the undisputed champion in this arena. China's high-speed rail journey began in the late 20th century, driven by the desire to connect its major cities and boost economic growth. They started by importing technology from countries like Japan and Germany, but quickly realized they needed to develop their own expertise. Chinese engineers and companies have become global leaders in high-speed rail technology, designing and building trains that are not only fast, but also incredibly safe and efficient. The impact of high-speed rail on China has been nothing short of transformative. Travel times between major cities have been slashed, making it easier for people to work, study, and visit family in different parts of the country. China's high-speed trains are spacious, modern, and equipped with all the amenities you could ask for, 
from comfortable seats to onboard Wi-Fi. The high-speed rail revolution has also had a profound impact on China's economy. It has created jobs, boosted tourism, and facilitated the movement of goods and services across the country. China's high-speed rail network is a marvel of modern engineering, a symbol of the country's technological prowess and ambition. Now let's turn our attention to India where the railways are undergoing their own technological renaissance. India is upgrading its network, focusing on electrification, modern signaling and digital technologies to improve efficiency, safety and passenger experience. The goal is to electrify the entire network by 2024. Old coaches are being replaced with modern LHB coaches. Digital technologies enhance the passenger experience. Okay, let's talk economics because when it comes to understanding the impact of railways, it's not just about the romance of the rails, it's about the cold, hard cash. In China, the railways have been instrumental in fueling the country's meteoric economic rise. To move goods and people across a nation as vast as China, you need an efficient and reliable transportation system. The railways provide that backbone, connecting manufacturing hubs to ports, farms to cities, and consumers to markets. The construction of the high-speed rail network alone has been an economic stimulus package on steroids. It's created millions of jobs, not just in construction but also in manufacturing, engineering and technology. And as these high-speed lines connect cities they create economic corridors, attracting investment and fostering growth. The railways have also played a crucial role in reducing regional inequality in China. By connecting less developed regions to the more prosperous eastern seaboard, the railways have helped to spread the benefits of economic growth more evenly. But the story of railways and economic growth isn't just about China. Now let's shift gears and talk about how the railways have shaped India's economic landscape. For decades, the Indian Railways has been the lifeblood of the nation's economy, transporting everything from raw materials to finished goods, agricultural produce to industrial machinery, it's the invisible hand that keeps the wheels of commerce turning, connecting businesses to markets and consumers to products. The railways have also played a crucial role in connecting rural India to urban centers. For farmers in remote villages, the railways provide a lifeline allowing them to transport their produce to markets across the country. This not only boosts their incomes but also ensures that food reaches the tables of millions. Tourism, a major contributor to India's economy, owes a great debt to the railways. From the iconic Palace on Wheels to the breathtaking mountain railways, train journeys in India are an experience in themselves attracting millions of tourists each year. Indian Railways is one of the largest employers in the country, providing livelihoods to millions of families. The railways will continue to play a pivotal role in shaping India's economic destiny, connecting people, driving growth, and fueling the aspirations of a nation on the move. As we approach the end of the line on our journey exploring the railways of China and India, it's time to look ahead and ask, what does the future hold for these two railway titans? China, with its characteristic ambition, is pushing the boundaries of high-speed rail technology, aiming to create even faster and more efficient connections. India, while continuing to upgrade its existing network, is also exploring high-speed rail corridors, recognizing the need to connect its megacities with faster and more efficient transportation systems. The first bullet train project, connecting Mumbai and Ahmedabad, is already underway, a symbol of India's ambition to join the League of High-Speed Rail Nations. Both countries are also focusing on sustainability, electrification of railway lines, use of renewable energy sources and development of eco-friendly technologies are high on the agenda reflecting a commitment to balancing economic growth with environmental responsibility. The railways of the future will be smarter, greener and more integrated. Imagine seamless connectivity between different modes of transport, from high-speed rail to metro systems, buses to taxis, all accessible through a single, integrated ticketing system. The future of railways is bright, filled with technological innovation and the promise of a more connected and sustainable world. So there you have it, a glimpse into the fascinating world of Chinese and Indian railways. We've journeyed through their rich history, marveled at their impressive infrastructure, and explored the technological advancements shaping their future. But this is just the beginning of the conversation. What are your thoughts on the future of railways? 
Which technological advancements excite you the most? Share your thoughts in the comments below, I'd love to hear from you. And as always, if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel for more informative content, and ding that notification bell so you never miss an upload. Until next time, keep exploring.